today here is to present a technical paper on the examination of physician to estimate a measurement parameter for malaria mortality using modified state estimation model. The outline of the presentations includes introduction, background of study, paper, problem statement, justification, up to references. Now, introduction and background of study examinations and uh, investigations of basic human body diagnosis requires the vital variable statistics of physician measurement to patient under estimated conditions. Historical information have also recorded as a function of human existing state or system measurement are represented, which can be represented qualitatively or quantitatively to uh, determine the existing state of every patient. The changing parameter composition of patients with reference to sex, age, education, and civil statistics are most variables, vital variables for measurement. Essentially, modified state estimation model are used for the estimations of patient characteristics after physician's measurement to really ensure, because the basis of this analysis is to be sure that measurement carried out from a patient are actually valid before prescriptions of drugs or administration of drugs as it means. State as measure technique process in determining the sense of value of unknown, of unknown value for particularly to medical, me, particularly to medical biological machines and or biological machines, instrument systems, in that the states, the state variables will be declared as accessible and measurement in order to determine the existing state of the system patient. Measurements are taken by medical practitioners and which are required to meet required to meet up the basic record for a given cell for purpose of World Health Organization standards. Dispensing and administering of drugs for patient requirement declared measurement record conformability to avoid error due to low precision and tolerance that may rest into result into early mortality due to bad measurement. Because if measurements are correct are collected from patients. And the instrument of measurement uh, in terms of error are uh, being attributed due to calibration or aging. That is tantamount to result into bad measurement. And that measurement will be relied upon in terms of prescribing drugs. And that may result to either overdose or that those which are not too comfortable for the body chemistry. It means that the status of patient measurement or sample specimen must be validated adequately to avoid gradual breaking down of human body system, like sensitive organ like liver heart, lungs, kidney, etc., that are probably result into state of colossal decay, particularly in placing wrong prescriptions or medi medications. The dynamics measurement instrument for physician, we have the sigomanometer, we have the thermometer, and so many of them, to patient measurement must avoid incident or system error that may result to a lot of colossal decay. No measurement can be made with perfect accuracy, but importantly, we must ensure that accuracy is actually the main thing to have to avoid tendency of bad measurement introduction. A study of error is the first step in finding a way to reduce this attitude, this uh, incidence. Errors can be classified in terms of gross error, systematic error, and random error. This class of error mainly covers human mistake in reading instrument and recording and calculating measurement results. The responsibility of the mistake normally lies within the experimenter, or the experimenter may be grossly misread the scale or the formation from the measurement instrument. And due to even oversight, read, for example, measurement of 31 degree, body temperature of 31 point, and why the actual reading was 21.5 degree C. This is also based by that measurement information, those information could be relied on when prescribing or administering prescriptions. Gross error may be also be considered as also one of the bad measurement, if not taken care of, could be a basis for resting on prescribing drugs and medication, which may result to a lot of uh, medical uh, consequences. Great care, therefore, great care must be taken in reading and recording the data. Two or three or more readings should be represented quantitatively. This type of error are divided in most cases as instrument error, environmental error. A lot of parameters can actuate, can affect the behavior of recording. Most times, if the measurements are not properly calibrated regularly, it is tantamount to represent an error measurement. 
And those measurements captured through caution and through examination can be seen as a problem and can be relied on and declare a lot of problem. Accuracy or precision of instrument device depend on it, it depends on the design capacity. It depends on the design capacity and efficiency. efficiency. Material to use for the instrument manufacturing process are also key driver. Work machine that goes into making instrument must consider the efficiency and the actual property of material to be able to display the accurate measurement facility. Economic production of any instrument must require proper choice of material to enable the user to provide with high level or degree of accuracy. Manufacturer at this way must therefore guarantee certain level of accuracy for patient measurement to avoid error. This may result in a lot of misplacement of bad measurement, and that measurement can be relied on. And based on that, drugs may be administered or may be prescribed. Measurement instrument accuracy must be guaranteed, validated, to be within the acceptable positive level of full scale reading. Therefore, manufacturer must be strongly adhered to declare specific deviation from normal values of particular quantity. This means that the limit of this deviation must be specified value defined as the limiting error. Problem said the exclusive reviewers, many novel scholars and exclusive reviewers of distinct transmission cases consider associated measurement error, which include calibrations of measurement instrument error, aging of measurement instrument error, temperature slash humidity of measuring instrument or device, surrounding circumstances of impaired patient status. In other words, regular checkup of body system guarantee healthy living for day-to-day -day activity. That is why we want to ensure medical practitioners, medical doctors, while taking measurement, we need to see the efficiency and the accuracy of measurement such that error measurement can tantamount to be presented in drugs administration that can lead to highly mortality and whatnot. Problem statement can evidently all the damage existing state of human body in many circumstances may as lead to high death rate due to wrong precision without adequate medical examination from clinic or hospital, etc. Therefore, the deformity and manufacturing of body system due to poor attention to medical procedure can also be a problem. Measurement errors are associated to bad measurement, poor calibration of measurement instrument, aging of measurement instrument, surrounding circumstances as a psychology of the patient, etc. This technical content will strongly address the issue of bad measurement on the view to estimate the physician measurement before adequate precision to drug administration. Justification of this technical content, the research paper has strongly opened a new window to optimally estimate the physician physical measurement. That is the vital variable statistic before declaring and dispensing drug for incidence of transmitted disease for patients. This technique will allow medical practitioners and physicians to regularly check and monitor the capacity and the efficiency of the measuring instrument or device to avoid wrong dosage for poor prescription that may consequently lead to early mortality. Objectives of this technical content, avoid objective of this technical content, avoid the objective of this technical content, avoid known the uh, that efficacy that health is wet. The incidence of transmitted disease it may result to early mortality. Therefore, conducted physician physical examination measurement uh, must be validated using vital statistics variable, which must be using the modified status measure model. Implement this measurement carried out by patient from physician and uh, need, uh, need to undergo test verification statistics to avoid inaccuracy before administering drug. Accurate, adequately, adequately investigation of the dynamics of the human body chemistry and physician measurement instrument to avoid error due to all these consequences due to poor calibration of malfunctional operations and according to the standard practice for purpose of accuracy of instrument. We therefore develop a relevant analogy and a workflow chart to adequately represent these techniques. Development of MATLAB script files and simulate the result validate to avoid underdose overdose drug prescription. Determine and evaluate existing set of human body statistics for multivariable condition. Example, the heart rate, the pulse rate, the blood pressure, temperature, lung skin, etc., must be adequately be determined to avoid wrong prescription, either through calibration error of measurement instrument or due to inconsistency, incons inconsistency of measurement instrument. Patient and tier four require adequate attention from physician, physical examination measurement for further estimation 
or from physician major to avoid drug prescriptions and medical. I remember a scenario where a particular case in part of the north where a drugs we administered about three, four years ago, where drugs were administered to patient. When the drugs were administered to patient, instantly there was eye inflammation problems of 10 candidates. 10 of the patients experienced a total eye blindness instantly when drug, these drugs was presented. And this matter was presented to the National Assembly for examination because to investigate the galanicals, to investigate the chemical composition, whether those galanicals does not meet the particular caution examinations. That is why we want to ensure that before drugs prescriptions, before drugs administrations, before drugs medications, proper revalidations will be taken to ensure that there is nothing as early mortality in that scenario. The scope of this work, many novel researchers of this have contributed predictions and restoration of incidence of transmission disease while relying on the recorded result obtained from patient from clinical examination. The question is how true is the physical measurement? That is the motivation of this technical content. The, the, that is the motivation of this technical content. The question is how true is the physical measurement? The technique of paper look at many multivariable associated parameters. For the analysis of transmitted disease using physician measurement instrument or device, which consider the true value of physical measurement taken from the physician medical practitioners that necessary estimations of modified state estimation model for patient status verification. Evidently, the estimations of the patient physical measurement consider the precision of measurement instrument or device, accuracy of measurement instrument device, calibrations of measurement instrument device. Of course, four study cases of, of various locations we are used for the basis of this analysis. Review of previous research are not very Brett et al. and et al. and so many others have been able to contribute in the related areas. But this was a major contribution to the end of where they actually uh, did. The identified knowledge gap, previous researchers and scholars have considered significantly the consideration to the predictions and restoration of this incidence of malaria mortality rate as a major concern to man and society. This technical content has provided an estimation model or algorithm as a tool to estimate physician physical examination measurement for patient vital variable statistics before drugs, prescriptions, and administration to avoid underdose, to avoid overdose that may subsequently lead to early mortality or early grief. Material and method. Model formulations was the modified state estimation model. The governing equations are the measurements set used for the medical practitioners. The thermometer reading we characterize it as Z1, the sigomanometer Z2 for measurement of the blood pressure, the blood sugar level Z3. We have the plasmodia viva parasite transmission measurement Z4, etc. The Z1, Z2, Z3 are the measurement parameter which are now formulated in a GP formation. Remember, Z is a characterized as a function of the nonlinear expression of H of X plus the error term introduced. But the argument is how, uh, how true is the physical measurement? How true that the measurement taken met the standard of practice and there is no error? Even though we have 10 measurement instruments, maybe thermometer in an instrument in a hospital or clinical, we, our question is how, how, how the 10 instruments that are there and do they have the same level of accuracy? Most of the device may have 5% degree of accuracy. Some of the instruments, 3% level of accuracy. Some are 10% level of accuracy, but the same instrument. So i sure that the measurement instrument have a confined degree of accuracy. And therefore, these measurement equations we are formulated in that respect. We have the set measurement variables. We have as is a rectangular matrices operation. As the state variable we want to determine what is the existing state of that parameter we want to determine in conformity with the physician physical measurement. We have the error term introduced, and we have how the true value of the system model. These are the measurement, these are the measurement equations. The four uh, analysis we have four measurement parameters we are examining based on the physical examination from the physician. The Z1 expresses the algebraic expressions of non-linear term, which have to do with H11, X1, H12, X2, error term, up to Z4 expression. These are the measurement equations. And if you look down up to equation six, we saw that the error term are defined E1, E2, E3, are the error establishment of each measurement from every patient. And we want to see, the error want to establish how close is it to the true value, how to close to the precision level. 
we want to ascertain the level of error established. Does it fall within the standard practice to be accepted or we negate it? These are why we establish non linear expressions in terms of the measurement equation. We have it in the compact notation in equation seven. It is looking down further to the true value expressions in more compact notation equation eight. It was also expressed in vector notation up to equation nine. The equation for the express the E characterizes the error terms of the measurement one, E2, the measurement introduced in measurement two, uh, E3, the measurement equation three, up to equation four. And we have the Z expression, which characterizes the measurement for thermometer, psychomanometer, the sugar levels, all are measured. And we have to re examine the physical measure from the patient to really ascertain whether the error margins are very close to near or the error margins are very far. To near because the result caution, the result assignment are subject to be relied upon in the prescriptions or in the administrations of drug. That is why this technique can be used to describe the chicken summation of the error in order to minimize the positive and negative operation, which may be accepted. These are the continuation of some of the equations, the governing equations. We have to form the diagonal matrices, the weighting factor, the expressions of equations 16 and 17. Uh, these are continuation of the algebraic equations that lead from 16, 17, 18 up to 21 to estimate an expression. What is the estimated value of the blood pressure? Is it close to what was examined by the physician? Otherwise, we, we have to reiterate it until we get actual value that should be accepted. The weighting factor equations are also established for the measurement parameter, which have to do with the diagonal matrices element as one of our delta one squared up to delta four squared in that regard. These are continuation of the sum of square errors expression up to 27. In that order, 28, we have the variance of measurement error. We want to ascertain what is the deviation from the true value to the estimated value. And therefore, we have to also establish a, some level of significance for accuracy. That was why we use this chi-square distribution for a quantifiable level of significance for a given degree of freedom, for which is F, if it's greater than or less than that, the least square suspended to be part measurement in the analysis for where it is required for purpose of this. This means that the suspended measurement instrument set must be recalculated and subject to test statistics and required measurement for vital analysis. Analysis of measure mortality using the modified expression also continue the procedure for the analysis. Clinical diagonal measurement for different locations were collected for purpose of this analysis to actually examine, verify the physical physical measurement for purpose of analysis. These are the input we have collected for measurement for the blood pressure of a patient that have been measured by a physician. We have 120 over 80 millimeter mercury which is the systolic pressure is 120, the diastolic pressure is 80, which is millimeter mercury. And we have also seen for fair measurement. And this measurement, we want to estimate, estimate it to relate it and compare with the physician measurement. So that if what was examined is different from what is estimated, we want to see the degree of how close or otherwise we recalculate until we confirm that the physician measurement is subject to further tests. Otherwise, prescriptions or drugs should not, should not be administered yet to avoid any mortality or death, as the case may be. These are the covering equation measurement instrument precision to accuracy of a true and actual value are predicted. We have the diagonal element for case two, which have been attaching preferential importance to the weighting factor. And this is what I've been doing. We determine several operations, determinant game matrix. We are also determined to now determine the relationship on how we can be able to justify the claims. We have the general matrix operations, which have to do with the operations of the, the, uh, the analysis of the blood pressure for four candidates. Because four candidates we are used for this analysis for the examination of four patients, which have to be estimated by the, the developed modified state estimation model. These are the H matrices, the nonlinear matrices, the H, which is the rectangular matrices, are being computed. And the analysis is that we want to check the error. The physical measurement must minus the estimate measurement. How is error one? For the first measurement, what is the physical, physical physical measurement? What is the estimated measurement? We want to see the variance, how close or how near to the measurement for us to declare that yes, the measurement established is adequate for prescription for the candidate of patient and all that. These are some of the governing equations and the quantifiable level of calculator that to support all that have been done. This is a, a flow chart algorithm to show the activities of the flow of to calculate the measure parameter of Z to a positive precision level. 
Now, the, we have seen set one, set two, set three, set four. These are the measurement parameters for each of the scenario for each of the patient analysis. Because for purpose of this technical content, four patient analysis we are used to study what was originally measured by the physician for us to be estimated by the estimated model. And we discovered that there are one or two discrepancies that are requested to be further recalculated to involve to avoid errors, to avoid re-examination for uh, avoid giving a drug that might tantamount to any damage of the liver, kidney, heart problem. Because wrong prescriptions is a problem, overdose is a problem, underdose is a problem, heart might not be too conducive for the healthy living of a patient. And that might that might lead to a tantamount to uh, a coma and from there the person can just uh, give up. We expect a gastro normal distributions that ideally the measurement carried out by the measurement instrument should also follow a normal curve distribution. But where there is a negation, where the measurement equations are no longer following a normal teeth, it is subject to revalidation so that we can now be able to attest to it and now re-examine it in that order. This is a normal distribution for a particular level of degree of freedom. For this case, four measurements we are taking and two we are declared at the same variable. So the degree of freedom was four minus, which is two. For any quantifiable level of three, you can be able to now determine the percentage of level of significance to support their claim. These are the study case for their suspended census of the different locations for the analysis. These are laboratory confirmed cases. These are positive predictive accuracy levels we are being determined for the different locations. In the study case, this is table three also show the distribution of suspected and confirmed cases for malaria parasite plasmodium according to the provisions. These are not Analysis for the different, okay, for this, for, the, for one and two, it was okay, 120 over 80 millimeter mercury. In another patient, the same thing, but the other discrepancy we observed was 140 over 80 and that. We, while we have to involve these two as the two state variable that need to be tested, whether what was physically measured was actually uh, being agreed with the new modified state estimation model for purpose of allowing the prescriptions or the administration of drug administration in that order. Results, uh, the result of the discussion with the tabulated results, the tabulated results obtained for a given degree of freedom and uh, for a significant level of 9.21 was meaning that the cover value is less than the critical value which using the chi-square distribution. And these are the measurement parameter for Z1. This is what we was obtained. What was estimated was 1.49. Then Z2 join in that order. And we can see that there are little or less discrepancy which could be attributed to measurement instrument or calibration error that need to be calibrated regularly. Measurement instrument have to be record, must be calibrated regularly. 10 thermometers in the hospital or clinic may not have the same accuracy level. Yet they are used to examine patient. If these measurements are not calibrated to share their integrity of accuracy, it may be erroneously be taken the wrong estimated value, which may turn out man to placing a patient on wrong dosage or overdose or underdose, which may result to early grief or early mortality and all that. The results we are also, the analysis we also presented in MATLAB, matrix laboratory programs to also justify the manual calculations of what was done. And these are the graph representations, a partial showing the clinical and laboratory confirmed cases of the different locations being examined. These are also positive predicting accuracy level. Laboratory confirmed cases, we also, there are clinical suspended cases for the analysis we also examine. These are graph distributions, the geographical location of the patient in line with the distribution of clinical and laboratory cases. And conclusion, incidence of transmission cases for vital infection, et cetera, particularly malaria, plasmodium parasite for early mortality is a great concern in the developing economy. Modified state estimation model developed to estimate the conducted patient physical measurement as a measure by physician slash medical practitioner. The technique established mathematical framework that characterizes patient physical measurement to how true the measurement is. Common equation for the estimation we are also adopted was, was carried out. The model has a capacity of two to investigate, detect, and identify, flag the bad data measurement as error, which could be classified as attributed to measurement instrument calibration error or aging of measurement instrument error surrounding circumstance of patient or medical practitioner, temperature and humidity of measurement instrument. The technical content of this paper consider non-mixed vital statistics variable using the manometer for measurement, 
we have the thermometer and any other measurement that we are used for this analysis as a key driving parameter for this analysis. Thank you so much for this audience and all that. Thank you so much for your patience.